I think it's pretty fair to say that the East has pretty much dominated the Western comic book market. Yes, comic books still sell a little bit, but there's really no denying that webtoons and manga, especially manga, have taken over the market. It's pretty embarrassing for Western creators, I got to tell you. Month after month, you see number ones of the same books on charts. That's new fans coming in, by the way. I just want to point that out. And it's pretty consistent. The only time I've seen a superhero book from the West crack this list right here is when Batman and Fortnite had a crossover. And I'm pretty sure that was for some codes to the game or something. So it's, it's, it's just undeniable to me. There's a lot of reasons why this happens. One, uh, they're not beholden to Western politics, which are a dumpster fire right now. Both sides have a thick line drawn between them, and they're both heavily polarized. I really don't see that changing anytime soon. So when you decide to go in a certain direction, you risk turning off half of your customer base. And it's always the same half, too, the conservative half. You're not allowed to tell any kind of conservative, any kind of conservative leaning stories in the Western market. But in Japan, they can tell whatever the hell they want. They're not beholden to Western Twitter. And this is one of the reasons that I think you're getting good stuff from there. Attack on Titan is a really good example of that. Look at this Attack on Titan Volume 1. Look at that's new people coming in and checking this series out for the first time. Uh, I don't think you would get Attack on Titan from a Western developer. I don't think you would get Rising of the Shield Hero from a Western developer. <laughs> I mean, there's a list I could go on and on about. But one of the misconceptions is that a lot of the critics of this will say, well, manga has always been political. Western readers just never realized it. No, we did. The difference, though, is the creative talent, okay? You have diversity of thought in Japan, and you can tell whatever kind of story you want. You can't do that in the, in the West. In the East, you can. You can't do it in the West. And yes, there's politics in anime and manga, but guess what? Guess what? They're done by much better writers. <laughs> and they also... Do it in an entertaining way. This is the funny thing about this whole uh, politics and entertainment argument. Is a lot of people will say, well, there's always been politics in comics. There's always been politics in entertainment. And you're, they're right. There always has been. But the difference is it used to be done by people that were far more creative and could do it in a way that it was entertaining to everybody. Now, the way it's done is it's done by saying, well, if you just don't like this, you're a bigot. Okay. Oh, you don't like Miles Morales? Well, you're a racist. There is no, oh, okay, well, you just don't like this. No, they, they go after fans and they attack the fans and the stories are heavily political where the, we're at the point where it's just very obvious and it's not very well done. And it's just there to shoehorn stuff in. Like when you see characters running around giving like their identity to people straight up on the pages. That's not something people do. So Screen Rant put out this article. I'm not going to read through it. It's a article on the obvious that, you know, Akira was political <laughs> and Full Metal Alchemist in the Ish uh, Ishbalan conflict. Stuff like that. Like, it's obvious that stuff's political. But it's well done. And at the end of the day, at the end of the day, it's done to make the entertainment better. It's not done to slap people in the face. And this article got posted on Twitter and people were destroying it. It's got ratioed. Lofty pixels here with a pretty good response. 
This guy says, LMAO, let's not even talk about old manga. Let's do an easy one. Naruto. Even the most casual fan knows that one. That anime is drenched in politics between the different ninja continents. Lofty Pixel says, no one is annoyed with politics about different ninja continents. And he's right. This is this is an example of what these people are saying. Oh, Naruto's political. Yep, a lot of politics about the ninja world in Naruto. Uh, that's a lot different than uh, Naruto looking at the pa- looking at you from the panel and saying, "If you voted for Trump, you're racist." A little difference between those two things. So I don't know. I just find this funny. I keep doubling down on this on this. Uh, argument and it's just it's not a very good one anyway that's pretty much it let me know what you guys think also if you would please like subscribe share the video make sure you're still subscribed hit that notification bell and i'll see you guys on the next one peace also if you want to help support the channel check out my teespring store there's a link in the description you can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out also make sure to follow me over on twitch i do watch parties play video games over there they're always fun follow me over there and come hang out. Also, make sure you subscribe to Yellow Flash, my other channel. There's a link to that in the description as well. I do a lot of live streams over there that I don't do on this channel. Usually smaller and a little bit more personal. So make sure you follow me over there and sign up.